And Peter always brings us great problem solving solutions, whether it's indoors or whether it's outdoors. This to me is genius. This is our electric mini tiller. So all you simply have to do is plug it in, no gas, no fumes, no crank, no getting on your hands and knees trying to aerate that soil. Because let's be honest, when we're thinking about tilling our yard, how many of us, when we do want to plant, we're getting the little shovel and we're like trying to like beat the soil, trying yes. to air right it, aerate it, trying to prep it, and it's complicated. It's such a labor intensive process. Well, guess what? It doesn't have to be that way. Let the tiller aerate, prep and prepare your soil so you can set yourself up for success in your garden. We are looking at $124.95. We've got spring pricing. So we have the lowest price ever on this unit to date. If you own this, it's a customer pick. I'd love to say hi to you. We spoke to Betty in Ohio. I want to speak to you next if you own this. 1-866-376-8255. Peter Kilcullen. How are you? This, I'm doing fantastic. It is a gorgeous day outside. Absolutely. But Typically, when I want to go outside, I don't want to. I don't want any part of this. But this tool makes it so much easier. Oh, it's it's so amazing. I mean, we've had this for um, many years yes. here at HSN, and I think the reason is because it really it does a couple of things. And what's neat is if you can read the reviews on HSN.com, you get a great idea of exactly what this can do. It's powerful. It's going to make getting your garden ready that the time is going to be cut in half, if not more. And it allows you to continue to garden even when it's really gotten to be too much work, where you have to be down on the ground, trying to loosen that soil, turn the soil, and then start planting. Whatever planting that you're doing, right. this makes it easier. And the great part is this isn't a big gas-powered unit. So many of the reviews talk about, I've never used a tiller before, and I love it. Yeah. I could do it. It's easy. It makes it fast. And it's not and, loud. No, not at all. I mean, there you can see it. You know what? It's powerful enough, but small enough. Mm -hmm. So both things, it's kind of, it's, it surprises everyone when they yeah. see the power. So I was out, actually out here earlier, Robin. Yeah. And this is an area that's normally covered up. So this soil- and look at the root base. Right, was packed down. And I'll actually move over to that area that okay. I haven't done yet. And you can see it was so packed down. And I was so blown away at how powerful this was that it will just move through all of that. This is an area that we have not done yet as I move over. <laughs> And you can see, I just let those four times do the work. And look at that, 11 inches wide, it can get down a full eight inches into that soil. It is amazing, and I'm doing very little. You know what's interesting? Hey guys, you can see me on this wide shot when I'm doing this. Watch as I just pull this back. You know, what you'll notice is, that I'm not fighting with it, it's not bouncing right. around, that it's really controlled. Now, I'm using it with the wheels down. As you get more experience and you wanna go even deeper into the soil, uh -huh. you can actually use this in the wheels up position and it makes it even that much better. You can oh, lock those you can wheels go up. deeper. Exactly, that will allow you to get the full eight inches down. But 11 inches wide, you know what that means? That means that you can use this in those areas where maybe you have flowers planted and you have a small area behind that and you wanna do another sort of row of plants and vegetables, whatever it might be, <coughs> this allows you to do it without getting too close to those <laughs> other plants and flowers. Right. How about weeding some of those areas? Oh, if you want to chew up awful. the weeds and turn up the soil, this is fantastic. Right. Really, the reviews are amazing. They Every are. time I read them. 4.4 out of 45 reviews. And one of the things they love, the fact, the sheer size. They love that it's easy to maneuver, it's easy to work with. They love they don't have a huge pull crank to start this. <laughs> right. right, Peter? There That's are the no best. fumes going anywhere. You're seeing some of those reviews rotate at the bottom of the screen. So if you would like, if you are thinking about prepping and preparing that soil. You want to be able to plant the garden of your dreams, or maybe you're new to gardening and you're thinking you're just wanting to start. Where do I start? I think this is the perfect you know, kind of starting point for you because that's the segue into a question I wanted to ask Peter. Because Peter, a lot of us who are maybe watching this today and we're going, we want a garden, but I don't really know, do I need to till? What does tilling mean? Why should I till my well, garden? Well, two things. Okay. So you definitely want to till, I'll show you this, Robin. Because maybe that, someone's going, what is tilling? I didn't well, even know what that meant. So what happens is you're gonna have this hard soil so you can he see it there. Maybe it's a section of your yard and you're thinking, well, okay, I want to plant. Well, right. what if you have weeds and other things in 
in there. You can use the tiller to combine that soil. Maybe you even want to improve your soil by adding peat moss, or you want to improve ah. your soil by adding your fertilizer. You can combine it okay. with that. But here's an, here's an option. I've got this soil, and I want to turn that. That's so rock hard. <laughs> this is not a great option. So, or you're down there with a small shovel, and you can start trying to turn the soil, you know, this way, because here's how you're going to plant. You're going to try to dig up that oh, soil. Peter, that's a and, lot. And you're going to try to plant. So this is what the tiller does. It eliminates this whole job doing this. I can take this area. Now, I'll put this back because we Peter, don't want you this. Would be, I mean, that would be hard on your back. That Absolutely. would be hard on your knees. Imagine trying to I'm not to a young get... man anymore, Rob. Oh, yes, you are. But, I mean, imagine <laughs> for any of us. I don't want to be in the garden bent over my back, my knees, my shoulder. I mean, all of that. Look how Peter is right. standing upright. So, Rob, I don't yeah. want you just to oh, step sure. away. Here, just because I want to do that same area that we would that we just saw right there so if I do that area now watch what the tiller is gonna do I can sink it right down in that area that I was just digging with that shovel or with that metal rake and look what this little powerhouse can do that is packed down hard soil but now I have made easy work of that. I mean, look at it turning, I, I want you to see that. So here's that path, so from here to here. So now when I wanna plant, I'm just going in there and I'm planting that soil. Right? I'm dealing with soil that's not going to be as difficult to handle. You're down there. I'm probably down about four or five inches. Now, what you Peter, can do. Was, honestly, I am so impressed because, you know, Peter, I'm so used to like, like getting the <laughs> shovel with my sneakers and like pushing down really hard. And then I call my husband. I'm like, Pat, can you help me dig this hole for my plants? Exactly. I could just use this little tiller. And it really, it's, you know, we call it little, but again, I'm going back to it's those not, reviews right? because everyone said the same thing. It's small, but they were all in press with the power. So I'll just show you real quick in a small spot. I'm adding some peat moss. You can improve that soil. Uh -huh. You're combining that soil. But then how about the same thing? Let's put fertilizer in there because you're going to put your plants in there. You can put the fertilizer that they need for the whole season oh, and then as till. you're tilling. Exactly. So now as I till that same area, and really depending upon your soil, he, it's he, really how long it Peter, takes. can we just talk about that this is cushioned? Yeah, cushioned handles. <laughs> I know exactly. that may not, uh, may not matter to you, but I like my oh, hands. Of I don't want to get blisters, and well, I like that this is all cushioned. Right, and I'll show you how we're starting this is, is really nice too. So there's a little bale arm right there, so okay. you can see that bale arm. I pull that, and I push, the, I push the button, and then I pull the bale arm. Now if I let go, look at that, it, it stops. stops. So that's what's so cool about this, that everyone can handle this. So I can pull that bale arm, get that started, now I can combine that soil, the fertilizer, the peat moss, and I'm still tilling that soil. It is unbelievable what this can do. Can you imagine the time it would take for you to do that with a shovel or a metal rake? But you can handle this. That I think is the best part, that anyone can do it. Now as I let go and I want to go forward, I'm just going to pull it forward, tip it back down into the soil and slowly bring it back. And look at what it's doing to that soil. Now you're talking about some loose soil that makes it so much easier to plant. I mean, that's incredible what it this does, can do. You know, Peter, it's interesting because Betty <laughs> called from Ohio. Right. And she talked about the soil being very hard and like clay-like. So yep. imagine if you really do need to break it up, you need to prep, you need to aerate, you need to kind of create an environment that now makes it perfect for growing, whether it is an herb garden, whether it is vegetables, whether it's shrubs Absolutely. or flowers. You want to have that prized lawn. This is how the professionals do it. And now you can do it yourself and cut out a fraction of what it would cost to have someone come do it for you. Maybe it's even just doing lawn, Peter, like your grass. Well, again, one of the areas, if you have grass that's just not functional, Functioning, it's not doing well and you want to replace it chewing up and really tilling that area and then maybe you want to sod or seed on top of that That's is the way to go sod. <laughs> yes yeah, but the cool thing is this really one. is this is your secret weapon I mean right. you want to have I think the, the hardest thing for everyone to grow is maybe growing really great vegetables and you know they can be expensive maybe you want to start you know being a little more organic you can you can have this whole garden this could be an area in your yard that you have never right. used before it's just a little a little bit of land 
land and you're thinking there's nothing I can do with that. But if you just do two nice rows with this tiller, which could take you minutes instead of hours, right. then you can have a really successful garden. You can you can improve the soil, you can improve with the, the fertilizer, and it's so easy. Yeah. Maybe you've always wanted a huge garden because you're really trying to eat more vegetables and you want to do it all on your own. This allows you to do it. And I want to, we haven't really gotten up close and personal to this thing. It weighs about 23 pounds, so it has That's that carry bad. handle right there. Right. The motor is super impressive. Everyone says the same thing. Well, you know, it's electric. I didn't think I could plug it in. One of the reviews said, I have used the big, heavier, gas-powered ones. I'm replacing all the gas-powered tools with the electric from Earthwise because I'm not wasting gas and they're easier to handle. So you've got those four tines in there. They spin at a very high RPM to make sure that it can really turn that soil. I mean, it is amazing what this can do. Great power. All you add is your extension cord. You're gonna plug this in and you're gonna see amazing results. The other nice thing I heard about this is it's so easy to move in and out of the garage or wherever you are. Yeah, so I'll put it on the pavement so. here. So you've got your wheels to move it. You've got that handle. You can hang it up in the garage. Some, um, some other comments were about a raised garden. Really popular now oh, to have a right? raised garden. But if you have a big gas powered one, it's difficult to get that huge thing up on that raised garden. This is super simple to move Peter, around. Peter, do I need to do anything with the blades or anything no. like that? Like not at is all. There maintenance there? Nope, n okay. nothing to do there. There's no oil. You are going to add your extension cord. Right. To put the handle and everything on, <laughs> one of the reviews, 19 minutes exactly to put everything <laughs> together. So that wasn't too bad no, either. that's not too bad. And again, it's just, it's not even, you don't even need tools just to put some of these wing nuts on to put the handle together and you are set to go. And You'll be using Peter, it. Peter, remind us of the path that we are going to be able to go the width. 11 the inches wide. Okay. Right, so 11 inches wide. So if you even have a small area, remember, 11 inches is wide whether you're doing vegetables or you're doing flowers it's perfect you can do row after row and then a maximum eight inches deep so if you really want to get that even deeper and here I think I've gotten much deeper in some of these areas that you I've done really I mean did. look at that now where I can but, move through this soil with my hands so now you know we have some roots and other things that are in there yeah, we can, can get we rid of those show, like can but you just grab that. a pile of those Peter like all of the roots over there yeah. because I mean that how else would you be doing that with your hands <laughs> well, would you do be doing that with a little shovel that like, metal rake oh Oh, right, that's like that's backbreaking. I remember yeah. like when I was a kid and you had chores and you had to like rake or you had to like clean up. It was always like, no, you drew the short straw. <laughs> you have to go out. Like nobody wanted to do it. Now this is giving you the freedom to get the job done in a fraction of the time, less backbreaking, less bending over, less effort. Why wouldn't you try it? I mean, when you think of how highly rated, highly reviewed this is, this is a fan favorite when it comes to our lawn and garden. Earthwise for over 120 years have been coming up with ways to not only maintain America's lawns cleaner and greener, but now with our tiller, we're at the lowest price we've ever offered, and we have free shipping and handling, and we also have five flexible payments of $24.99. Do you see how Peter is doing this? He's not having to get on his hands and knees. He's not having to struggle. For goodness sakes, Peter, you're even wearing nice shoes. You don't even have sneakers on. I my, uh, my gardening shoes on today because I had shows earlier inside. Yeah. But look at that. I mean, it really is so simple. And that, that's the thing I think you, you notice is that you have so much control over this. And right. You're not fighting it. And honestly, I think the learning curve is the first time you use it one minute and you'll be doing this. It's so powerful, yet so small, so easy to handle. I mean, again, I think think that it really can be that secret weapon. I know a lot of us want to have the biggest and the best garden. Maybe you want the first tomato on your street. So having the tiller, maybe some spray and grow. Oh my God. And you could have Set an up for success. <laughs> exactly. And that's what you want. You don't want to go through all that hassle and then not get the success. This is, I think, a huge part of being successful. Turning that soil, getting that soil perfect, putting that fertilizer in, and then you can add your plants by hand. You're going to scoop out the dirt, put your plant in, pack it okay. around there and you're going to water and them you know, up. Peter, you just like reminded me of something because I think to myself, like when I plant something in our yard, because we're homebodies, we love to be at home. And I think about like how difficult it is for me to dig the hole. And then once I finally have dug the hole, then I shove the plant in there. <laughs> but the reason they're dying is because the soil isn't aerated. It has no room for the roots to grow and expand because I haven't tilled, I haven't aerated, 100%. right? So there I'm failing from the beginning. This is setting me up. You're doing all of it at once. There you can 
can see chewing yes. up those weeds right next to some flowers, not damaging the flowers. So you've done exactly that, Robin. You've aerated yes. the soil. You've prepared the soil. I have to get this. For, right. right. You've prepared the soil for planting. Remember, instead of digging all those individual holes, you do one row. You scoop the dirt, put the plant in, pack it around it, watering, and really you're set. So you, you have better chance for success and you're gonna make it, I mean, how much easier is it? You and, saw uh, that hard section right, of soil. All right, do one more time. I think yeah, we yeah. have 30 se 15 seconds. 15 <laughs> seconds, Peter. Let's do and it. notice Peter didn't have to crank pull it. Right. He didn't have to get a shovel. He didn't have to get the little hand shovel and get on his hands and knees. Look at the power of this small machine. But boy, is it powerful. That's boy, impressive. is it mighty. It Look is at that. I'm gonna just pull those out so you can see them right there. I mean, that is amazing. And, and they get two, right in there. And a two-year warranty. It has an 11-inch wide path, eight inches deep to prep, prepare, aerate that soil and earth for your garden, <laughs> saving you time. Uh, Peter, that is a, it's really cool. It's I'm great. so glad you're here it's with us. It's your secret. It is your secret this weapon. This is the secret weapon. I like it. All right, we've got Karcher coming up next, so stay tuned.